Hello everyone, welcome back to Channel 1. New season, we're playing some Mech Paladin. It was a requested deck. Well, Paladin was requested. The only one we can find and afford is Mech Paladin. I know people wanted pure Paladin and mm. potentially Highlander Paladin, is that a thing? Probably. But uh, we don't no have No idea if it's any good or not. We basically spent the first year of our career on Hearthstone breaking down Paladin cards. Yeah, I don't really like his um, No, I don't think you want you that. You kind of want Skyclaw. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You want that kind of stuff. You want Righteous Christology cause. to thin that deck, pull out all that early Christology. game. Christology. Christology. Did you say Systology? Yep. Ooh. I've been calling it that to myself in my own home. Thanks for pointing out on the internet. That that starts with a C. And like C-R-Y-S-T-O. Yeah, it was Christ the R I missed. Uh, so, no, do you just slap down balloon? And then mm. you... Because you can magnetic onto it. And it's a giant I, lo I lost the other day to, um, to a combo priest that was playing that card. And by like turn three, it was like an eight, a one eight. Because it yeah. like pumped his health and he just killed me. I was like, oh, right, fair enough. Fair enough. Did the business. Not much I can do to it. He's in Bigand. And already. Do you reckon he's got the coin Breath of Dreams? He's, he's going for it. I think it. he's probably got the coin Breath of Dreams. There you go. So he's got, he's had the great start. He's had the start everybody else seems to get, but I never do. I mean, you're cursed. Yeah, that's true. The old Channel 1 curse. It's uh, you free. can galvanize it, free that boy -o up. Which also means next turn, Micro Mummy's free as well. On to. Yeah, on the big one. Yeah. It's a 2 6 now. He's got stored energy. Is that what he has? Is that what he says? Yeah. I've got stored energy. Yeah, fine, friend. Yeah, if you spend another time, a couple turns dirtling, I'll you. feel good. You want like a righteous or oh, a sky claw would be huge right now. Mm. That would be big boy. Well, that could get humongouses. This will make it free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you can spin. Yeah, play it, spin, slap him. Oh, uh, do you go? No. They don't have any pump, right? It's no. just we have pump. We oh, it hit the right one! It hit the right one. Are we gonna blessing it? Yeah, it's probably. Oh, we're at plus four, plus four. And there's there's no straight removal. Yeah. All right. Big snip, snap, dragon as a zilliax. Follow it. Maybe we should clean it off just to be sure. I think maybe we just shouldn't worry about it. If he's got the zilliax, he's got the zilliax. It'd have to be the nuts. Oh, he couldn't play it. It would be a six mana cost card. That's true. Oh, look at me learning the game like we haven't been playing sort of on a level in front of everybody for like a year. Oh. We just go huge. Wait, wait. How... Do you go wide here? Do you Blessing of Kings maybe your... Reborn? Yeah, guy? because he's going to want to kill that. Or do you want it on a mech for the magnetic... Magnetic war gear? Yeah, but you can war gear onto like the 3-8. So if he kills one, you don't... That's true. I think you're Blessing of Kings the... Micro Mummy. Micro Mummy. I was continual about you. I think we kill this with the one one. Yeah. The Let's just stop him being able to clear some stuff up. And then throw... We could. One. Eo one one. Uh, or we could do nine to him. Nine doesn't feel like enough. So doing that... Yeah, do it. Eat the thing. Yeah, I've decided. I've decided. I can't even talk you through the process. Just it just cut. feels better. I'm gut feeling. Um, I don't think you bother with that one. Just slap him in the face and pray that the micro mummy hits the three eight. Oh, Perfect. It's going incredibly well. Because uh, in theory now he throws that one one in, and the, his face takes the five damage. Yeah, yeah, you logical. You can war gear the other half. Keep it alive. Is what I'm thinking. It's a mech. It's a mech. Max making max, and he's cut down his mana for this turn. Huge. So he's like, no, he's not doing anything this turn. He's taken five. How far through is his quest? His side quest? Uh, miles off. Well, next card he plays. So yeah, whatever he plays next turn. But we're now look. Oh, uh, just go giga wide. This will make three dudes do five. Yeah, we go giga wide. It's so powerful. And you can spin as well. Got space? Yeah, do it. We'll need something we'll, we'll, to die to make. Uh, yeah, but he's going to play a guy, isn't he? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. do nothing. Um, Skyclaw's good here because it's value across the board. So there's a lot that could be swiped here. 
There's a huge amount that could be like, swiped. Swipe would be huge, but we have five damage in that balloon, plus magnetic kills him anyway. And he probably can't do anything else. Yeah. Swipe. Definitely can't complete his quest. Zilliax, fine. Complete his quest. Don't hit something nuts. Fine. Fine. That's He's gonna gain fun. some life. What do we hit? Whatever. Um so you war gear that probably the micro, that micro mummy and then send it through Zilliax. Zilliax. Because it survives. It and then we've got micro. 15 9 left. So all the one oh man, actually that's kind of difficult, isn't it? Difficult yeah. choices. You stay stupidly wide or do you kill his guy? Because then he can't kill your six one. You can swipe everything, but then he's not doing anything else. Yeah, so I think you probably... Why don't you just use this to kill it, and then do one, two, three, four, five, put him to 14, yeah, okay, then kill yeah, him next turn. That. Yeah, let's do that. Seems reasonable. Um, he's not swipeable. So Mecharu seems sensible for it's a swipe. damage that survives a swipe. I don't think there's a reason you don't hold it up. It, like even if it gets pumped by thing, I get it. Does it? It keeps mm. it away from the four five. The problem with hitting that way round is a swipe on that four five is now huge. Yeah. Because he can swipe, eat it with the face. So has he got like uh, the six mana torn? Is what he need. He's got the swipe. He's got the swipe. Swipe face is huge here. Just leaving behind the one damage. Yeah, that's actually, so actually huge. I think we should have gone narrower. Gone narrower. But that's exactly what he needed there. Oh, is that what we need here? It's seven. It's seven or you eat one. And it lives. I think we'd have to eat one. I think if he can um, put he some giant taunts... with his face. And if he can put some giant taunts down, we probably lose. But if he doesn't have them... <clears throat> yeah, what have we got left in here? Like there's... Um... Annoying my jewels, another blessing of kings. Explodinator? Explodinator is just a straight answer, right? Because it does... Oh, oh, no, it'd be one damage off. One damage off winning. Um, oh, Winged that Guardian. Is... Winged Guardian Leviosa. It's horrible. And that is too late. Way too late for the Righteous Cause. Spinning. Just to make a guy pick this up. Because we just pass. Yeah. I don't actually... I don't think you can win now. This card is so good. It's just the I think it's what note. turns it off. Um, we don't, the thing is, even if you draw like a war gear, we don't have any more mechs. Could have been another reason to keep that one massive one alive. Yeah, I think this game's over. Yeah. Oh, Conceded. Oh. Like the, missing a bit of draw, I'd say this, but we didn't hit Christology. Yeah, I mean, you can look at that and say, yeah, that's the draw you need, but also we have absolutely no idea how to play this deck. I think we played it quite well. I th it went okay. Except I think we did make a huge mistake trying to keep more on the board. Yeah, we went the we wrong way We know they through. run swipe. And we know that single target removal for yeah. them is like big divine shield guys. Yeah, And that yeah. wouldn't have been able to go through a 410. Yeah. But it can go through anything else on the board. So I think that was our mistake. I think these are great opening cards. We'll mm -hmm. send this board back. What would you like instead? Christology, Glotron, Not War Gear, uh, Sky Claws. Righteous Cause is insane with Skyclaw. Yeah, it, it's it three. Does, like, oh, it's that. Uh, let's drop this first. Yeah, then, then Galvanize it, then Christology if we hit nothing. Then Maybe we... Christology first. Oh, of course, it? yes. Yeah. Let me drop this. So the other alternative would you say you'd play this first, draw two, play this, and then they're all free? No, so we're playing a fuck ton of druids. Sorry for the language. <sighs> Apologize to a YouTube friend, not to just our audience. Oh, well, we have you here. We are about 300 subs on YouTube, which is exciting, really exciting for us, starting to grow as a channel. It's very enjoyable. What we would like to set as our target for this season coming is 400 subs. We'd love if you could help us get there. If that means you subbing personally, please go ahead and do that. If it means uh, that you just tell somebody you know about this channel, please do that as well. Slap the like yes. button. Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to slap this one. Oh, well, that's it. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hit him for two. I think Slap we're probably alive. ignoring his... A 3-2, yeah. Okay. Um, so he's not... Stop. Sorry, he's not embiggened, he's not Breath of Dreams, so he's That's off true, to a slow actually. roll He's a uh, slow rolling name. Which does happen with this deck, and it's why I didn't like playing it. Feels like if you don't get that explosive mm -hmm. start, it really can drag. You can empty your hand without 
any of the cards you need. You empty yeah. this, and then you are big, and then you go, well, when am I getting the things I need? Where's my payoff? Yeah, exactly. It's it's gambling a lot on four cards out of 30, I would say. Happy to make that trade. Yeah, that's Thank absolutely fine. This is going to go too big and go through there. Absolutely more fine. Let's go. Galvanizer, Makaroo, Makaroo. Ba ba. Ba ba. Right. It doesn't kill. No, but it doesn't die. Oh, it does die because it's not his turn. Yeah. That's alright. I don't really care. We're going wide, I think, is the only plan. Four mana oh, war this gear. This boy is cheap now. Four mana he's a, war gear. He's a cheapy boy. Oh, horrible. Uh, I didn't like this card now, that. No, me neither. I couldn't justify why I was in there. I kept looking at it going, eh. I think it's to stay alive, but at the same time, that's a little awkward. Just drop the war gear. You can't make it cheap enough to do anything else. You did the maths for me already. Yeah. Boom. Onto a, a Mecharu as well. Boom, boom. Tap seven. That feels all right. It feels all right, doesn't it? Hopefully he kills one half of this. We can make uh, Corrupt on it. He's got a dragon in hand. Giga value. He does have a dragon in hand, but does it cost four? And if it does, it's still 5-4, so we can kill this. You only, knew you, you only knew that because he played it. No, I knew! I did the maths. I did the maths in my head. Oh, interesting. He thinks we're going to kill this. We're not. We've got a better plan. Got a better Don't plan. forget to attack him with the 1-1 one, one first. Okay. I won't. Shame. That's a real... That's a damn shame. That's a real damn shame. Alright. 1-1. One, one. Throw this in here. We'll hit with this one. Don't like it. And then slap him. This is a tidy amount of damage. A tidy amount of damage. Absolutely tidy. And we've hit top of curve. So... Yeah, it's not that much left. Like a Leroy would finish. A War Gear would finish it. You draw... Ah, oh, you drawing without... Invigan as well. Yeah. So actually, later on in the game... Oh, oh no! Friend. Take another 10. Don't mind. Oh, well. War gear. What? Oh, we can do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this makes this cheap. Yeah. And then we just play this in the middle for some reason. All charged up. All charged up. Bing. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Slap him up. That's when he kills. What? Yeah. The problem is we've got to be able to attack with them. So like a sky We've got to claw. complete the quest when he kills the six one. They all get plus Boom! one. Boom! That's why I keep you on the team. Or he's just going to kill them for us. You, there's no silence, friend. Yeah. How do you how do you clear this board? I think he didn't draw in I, big and I don't oh, think he did that maths. <laughs> And then you quit. I think you made the maths mistake. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't draw in big and you're just playing, like, understated over guys. Over either overconstant or understated. Yeah. Which it are good when pumped up by plus two, plus two. Exactly. It's just not... I get it. Breath of Dreams is a good ramp, but mm. the things you're playing into are only good because it's like... They, they have semi-interaction with one another. Like, the dragon interaction is kind of forced. There's yeah. uh, no spell removal, but in a, against a deck like this, that's not... I forgot there was a Noi module in this deck. We haven't seen one of. Two of. Um, uh, this is maybe all, not the War Gear, but the Noi module. With this. And this. And Mage. Ooh. Ping Central. A big fat irritation. Yeah. And they run. Do you want to keep it? I'm tempted think, to keep it. We I think it's too low. It. I think it's too low. Uh, too high in the curve. We want low, right? Does uh, have a one drop? Yeah, yeah. We need a one drop. Or it's just <clears throat> Christology. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Christology would allow us a Galvanizer. Oh, it looks like we're back. playing with a Noia module. Yeah. Uh, so we can coin this out. Doesn't really it's help solid. us much. Oh. I think coining the Galvanizer to play the Skyfall on Turn two. Turn two is pretty good. And then T3 snip snap onto it. Or potentially a Noia module, I guess. It's probably better. And then you can snip snap onto whatever you want. Yeah. I'll, and I'll tell you what. I will. I really will. And this is unpingable. Well, for one turn. It's pingable over many turns, obviously. But not for one. I quite like this deck. I don't mm. know if it's perfect. I don't think it's the strongest. It feels very explosive. But I tell you what, it feels explosive not in the same way that in Big and Druid is. Wait, no. Team say. Oh. I tell you, that is disappointing. Well, hit him for one. 
It's <clears throat> it's disappointing because we I feel like we were off to a cool start. He was so pleased with himself when he played. Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, I like this enough. deck. I like this deck a lot actually. Playing against it, I respected it. When you lose, it doesn't feel horrible. You just go, all right, they've just pulled a perfect curve. Yeah. It feels a lot like it curves out very well because of things like um, galvanizer. Hot air balloon with a sky claw. Maybe we can do that. Is that that helpful? Or do you want to hot air balloon and snip snap onto it? And have a bigger snip snap than his snip snap? Yeah. I really want to do that. And if he kills it, we can sky claw a wider board. Yeah. Plus this is going to get bigger. This is better. We can remove stuff. We can annoy module onto stuff. Yeah, the... This is exposed on its own. I feel like it's mm. more explosive. Plus this is so good with righteous calls. You saw what it was like in the last yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like tick, tick. Basically that. On two, some kind of silence. silence, I'd guess. I don't know if that gives you silence on two. But, yep. Uh, shot, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, shot. Fine. Well, brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Brutal indeed. That's not ideal. Bobo. Nah, it's rubbish with no rush. Straight Anoyo dies. I mean, it pings, dies to. kills both. Leaves behind two one ones. No, it doesn't. Oh, leaves his two one ones. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. And then next turn, you've got. This is a semi combo. And we can't do nothing. I don't think your Skyclaw dies to everything and then he eats the one ones. Yeah. Probably don't just menace because he pings it. No, you want to put that on for something. Yeah. Annoying module. Let's do it. I feel like it is the most annoying of our options there. Hence but the that name. Doomsayer really just... <laughs> That's why it's played. That, it's like yeah. you hit a brick wall of like, I can't do anything now. My turn and is. to be fair, into a, a Zephyrus as well. as You know, they did what those cards are meant to do in the deck, which is just find you the answers you need for aggro. Fair enough. They found them. Um, whereas in the Embiggen list, I feel like you're, you're aggressively mulliganing for those cards. And if you don't get them, you just... You feel already tilted and yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you have a run of not pulling it, you're like, you're just like this deck's crap. <laughs> yeah. But if you have a run of pulling it every turn, you feel you're like, like it's unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we can rush this guy up, or even with this. With the thing. But then it would die. This is like I said, it, it's not. Yes, it goes slightly wide, but we put one ones on. Well, then rush it up with the macaroon. Don't spend all your mana. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, it's a four, he four kills rush. this. I mean, it's he's gonna kill this. Not gonna die. Yes, he can ping it. Yes, he can eat. Eat. But then we can start looking at this. Okay. It's okay. a lot more like value or this onto something, and then he has to decide which one he wants. I think we're gonna be outvalued now. <laughs> okay. All right. Fine. Maybe this pocket galaxy for free. You say. Oh, he's just casually leaving behind the four one. He just doesn't care, does he? Uh, Skyclaw, Replicating Malice. Which you want to gloat on and make it like impossible to kill? You're blessing the king to make it impossible to kill. <laughs> kill this. Yeah, it will get pinged otherwise. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Ping and then throw this in here, that would be horrible. But if he starts to chain together a bunch of zero mana dragons. What's he finding? Um, arcane shot? Not arcane shot. You know the. Does one, dam what? Just does one, one damage to... And fires off three times, normally. His oh, version. Arcane Missile. That's the one. How many does it fire off for Five? Him? Something like that, I think. That's quite a lot, but I'm not sure if that's the right play. I think you'd probably find like a Blizzard or something. If you have it, like a Blizzard or a Flame Strike, something you know is going to clear the board. Yeah. Hit in and a Flame Strike clears it, and his does like... Alright, or just a Polymorph for one. Alright, bit late. Okay. Fire it off. Alright. Double Glowtron is pretty good. Replicating Menace, one of these things. Double Glowtron it, I guess. Double Glowtron? Red the Glowtron. Just make it impossible to kill, right? Hmm. Well, how many silences has he got? Hopefully no more. Flame Strike doesn't kill it. Would we'll kill this one. Yeah. So pile it on. It's yeah. extra damage. Everything to the face. I mean, he's down to 21. The thing is, all of this... Stuff... I think we lost this game at Doomsayer. I, I actually agree with you. I think we, we were losing the game at Doomsayer. Absolutely nailed in the coffin. 
with Zephyrus Perfect value, yeah. two of our cards. That felt a bit horrible. Um, That's the downside of the, ma the magnetic mechanic. Yeah, so if you can silence it, if you can pull that card. You've lost two cards for the price of one. And it shrinks it down to the smallest one. And we're all starting with like teeny tiny little guys. So it's not so good. Yeah. Now we can still pull a war gear. Yeah, I think if you can start slapping war gears without... Oh, the freezing is horrible. Because, um, yeah, you can just slowly ping this now. It leaves behind some 1-1s. One Great. Okay. Why? Oh, With this you want in your opening hand. Yeah, drop it. I'm just going to... It triggers the, the thing. Yep. Oh, we have to play, right? No, no, no. summon. That counts. Summon. Good, good. Maybe we'll get a wide enough board to do well, something. Well, it's good, because when he kills the replicating men, We get some more, and then it pumps them all. Thing he's, he's got the most value out of a nine drop in the whole game. He had to play that for nine. Not one. Oh, that was in his hand. That was in his hand. He didn't pocket so, galaxy. So everything else is now pocket galaxied. Didn't even need to pocket galaxy Alex Strata. That was a big old hand. Board, whatever. Good word. So he's got a bigger board than we have. And with the anchor deck, is that what you're telling me? And we can't trigger this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say? What could we possibly... You hit him for 15. He kills this, or even if he doesn't. And next one. Yeah, enough yeah, enough yeah, complaining. Next I'm one. not complaining. You're I think this deck is like... Yeah, it's all right. I don't know if you guys are enjoying it. Fine. But I don't think it's going to be the I don't think it's declining. particularly well suited. Right? I think there was a brief moment when it was very well suited. But right now, with all these Embiggen Druids going around, which it seems to lose to... Uh, it, yeah, it just feels... It's it's the classic... Um, the curse of Hearthstone, really, isn't it? There's a winningest deck, and everyone chases it. And then someone comes up with a deck that beats that. Well, also, in a meta, you sort of... You chase people up and down the speed of the meta. So, mm. control gets bigger and greedier and mm. greedier to beat other control. And, and then eventually a super quick aggro deck like this or face comes hunter. in. Yeah. Or face hunter. And everybody goes, whoa, what the hell? And that just blows you out of the water before you can do anything. And then they start receding back and then you get bigger, greedier aggro decks like in Big and mm -hmm. Druid that then kill all of those. We just, we're just playing this? Yeah. Because it's harder to kill. Unless you want to drop my... Uh, I think this is better with this. Yeah, true. Oh, play that into there. And it's hard to kill with... You have to... Coin. Um, oh. What you saying? Yeah, what's he going to do? What are you doing? Can you actually kill it? No. Fine. Lose one half alive. Um, Regardless. That's what I'm hoping. Christology. Practice with me. Christology. Uh, so we can eat then. Let's do it. Is this a minion, right? Yeah, yeah we got pumped. It's, I was checking whether it's mech or minion. But it's, we're going to get a five. Three. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, so then you get a greedier deck like an Embiggen Druid and then that sort of swells over the meta, eats all the smaller guys. And then you go backs and forwards in yeah, the middle of it. You can see some Embiggen Druids getting greedier with, like what well, we tried the one with Ysera in. And, yeah. yeah, so they sort of push themselves up and then control comes back like it is at the moment. So you can predict these meta cycles. Uh, the problem is like, when, when you've got to build your decks, it's really yeah. difficult to be like, I'm going to put all my dust into that deck. And then a week later you're like, it's unplayable. Because yeah. the mess has changed already. It does settle after a while. It does. It... But I think this deck was better when uh, like there were a lot, a lot greedier decks around. There's been a lot of meta changes recently as well. So with the initial Galacrons and then... Yeah, do that. The initial Galacrons, then the first round of Galacron bannings. The second... Or bannings uh, changes. Then the second round of Galacron changes. And now these extra Galacron Awakening cards. It's like you're forever chasing. Yeah. And... For free to play players like we were is really really difficult. Yeah, you can see why it gets frustrating. I completely understand with you guys, and uh, we promise you that we will keep making lower budget decks. If I can design some that we think work, or we can cut some stuff out and just mess about, we will do that. More than willing to. So just set us some challenges. Tell us what classes you want to see, what sort of themes you want to see us play, and we'll give it a go. You know, we'll try make something. I promise you'll work, but we'll try and make the low. Yeah, it dust. may not make a like an hour video if we're getting horrendously blown out. No, but, but we'll give it a, like if it's a laugh, we'll we'll you know we'll build it. Um, especially because we can still try and climb outside a bit of recording for you guys now. So yeah, it'd be nice when we hit a, a five. Yeah, and like then we've, yeah, point. I don't want to do it before, you know, now, and then we drop to 10, and then we've got to watch us climb back up. But I'm hoping we'll get to 5, or at least I can get to 5 off camera, and then, 
we can start throwing out some wacky stuff. Because I would like to try some more budget lists. Yeah. Mm. At the moment, everything seems dominated by these very top end, like yeah. 14,000 dust decks. And you think, there's got to be a cheaper way sometimes. There's got to be a better way. This is, he's turned this board. Excellent. Very quickly. Christology friend. Yeah, let's make this wide old board. Galvanize friend. So we can play two guys, and then it will pump the board. Well, galvanizer and Glowtron, right? Because we're going to glow. You can Glowtron for free, yeah. No, but it will pump. So we play this. Yeah. Goes to four. It's going to pop at five. He's got a poisonous weapon. Don't forget this. So we want to go wider. Yeah. You want to make. You then you want to make this bigger. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to pop it onto a thing. Pops on this. We play this quest. Yeah, and then we've got to go when I was there. You want to hold up our poisonous weapon? You want to kill combo? I'm going to kill this. Yeah. Just start slapping him. Like, he's going to take damage whenever he attacks, but these are all two now. Yeah. Yeah, it feels a little three in this case. Hmm. Um, and they're hard enough for him to remove here. If this dies, it's going to do another one on here. We can spin and make this. We could do is it like an explodinator. Is uh, a really good way yeah. of turning this on. Obviously, another Skyclaw would be great. Even a Zilianx be lovely, just straight to the face, but. Okay, fine. Okay with that. He's gonna have to attack something with his face here. <laughs> this guy's toast. We need to... Mm, this feels kind of slow. I don't know if he's setting up for a hog waggle, but I'm not sure that's gonna be... He's left behind two... I don't really wanna be attacking, I... well... Galvanizer and Blessing of Kings. We can do with our weapon plus six. That's eight to him. So this definitely goes on here. Yeah. You're thinking whether it's actually worth playing our galvanizer. Or if we just spin, yeah. I think actually spin is probably the better play because then it saves a mech in case we get a gobble a gobble up. Uh, gobbly glide. A gobbly glide. A gobbly glide. For everything at him, right? Yeah. If he. Because he's at four. I mean, he's. He can't, I don't think you can comfortably tog waggle here, so we don't need to kill this because so, this will just kill you. So you'd have to put a shield of Galakrond in the way if he has one. Yeah. Which is horrible. But we can still, well, he probably trades them, I guess. But then we're looking at things like Zeliaxis to get through it. We're War Gears, obviously a Leroy, there it is. Um, Sky Claws, anything that goes wide and repumps our board feels okay. Yeah, so he's gone for the full fill. Oh, that's oh, a strong hit. Oh, that's a big boy hit right now. Horrible. Yeah, easy. that's the life game. I hate it. Okay. Yeah, I think we. And a spit, does that get us there? It does. Let's do it. Do you want to go wider? Does magnetic trigger the. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Do you want to make a big guy or wider guys? I think wider. Wider, yeah, wider feels. I think it's harder for him to remove wider, right? Yeah. It's pretty good, that goes through. Shame that can't attack. Um, so yeah, this dies into here. We, we literally clear his board into this anyway. So he needs a way to remove everything. Yeah. He'll be up to six unless he has Ziliac. This on his own kills him. Uh, Ziliac gets in the way. I'm just trying to do ways he can live. The so Ziliac is pretty horrible. Ice Baron kill, there's no point playing it, even if you have it. Because he can't play the other half. Uh, Ziliax is, is a good answer. Um, Eviscerate doesn't kill a sap. It's pretty brutal. That's why you go wide. It's sensible to Yeah, go that's wide. true, actually. Yeah, I, knew, I hadn't at the time even considered that, but yes, that's another reason. We slap on here, he saps in, trades everything in this, we die. Uh, sap on this is still pretty barbaric for us. See what okay. And you can put two one ones in. And gain a life. it would be at six. So this on its own, if he can kill this, wouldn't kill him. Down a four. Oh. Yeesh. Looking for a just, kobold? Yeah, but is kobold enough? No. Go on off on here. On this board. Uh, uh no. No. Hard no there, friend. Just kill him before just my internet. Kill Maxima. Before the internet. 
Hey! Alright. This deck feels... Sorry, uh, David, but you just got... I know we're hovering... What did he just get? Channel 1. He got, he got the one. people's champion. As we shall henceforth be known. I think yeah. it might be trademarked. Is it? By whom? The Rock. He trademarked that. He's got the he's the people's champion. He has the people's elbow. He has the people's I don't know, Jumanji films. Yeah, he does have the people's Jumanji films. Thanks for the sponsorship. <laughs> oh man. That's when you know you've made it. The Rock sponsors your YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, gobbles? Probably want gobbles. Double this. Mm. I feel like we can go way lower. Druid. Than this. Uh, yeah, probably. Keep. Mm, do you. <laughs> against Druid? Words. I don't give a. So we got a coin. So actually we got one, two, three. Ah, yeah, that's good. No. This yeah. being a low. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Because actually we can slap it onto like something that's so nice. We're going to Glotron, Coin, Gobbo. It's Treants! Treants, Druid. Who knew? Righteous cause. Fire the cannons. So, so we can't gobble now. We can always do this. In, whatever. And actually this makes guys when it dies. It's pretty good. It's guys making guys. Guys making guys. It's, just, it's a tale as old as time. You know? Don't we come here for wise sayings like guys making guys and it uh, happens. You won't find that story in any bible there. No. That's true. What Look at that. How very uh, deeply stampy. What? Is that train got helicopters? <laughs> yes, it's it's flying, flying train. We are just coining this guy, right? Yeah, why not? I think it makes a guy. Then we can <laughs> slap a whole bunch of wargears onto it. No, glowatrons or a gobbo, or we can replicating men. We've got so many things fact, we can yeah, do. This is a big turn next turn because that puts us to two. Then one, one, spin. Ah, can't spin in the turn. But if we could get another one drop, another hot air balloon, then we trigger the quest, we'd be off to the races. Looks like he's, I was going to say, he's not going as wide as they normally gonna, do. Any aeroponics now for free? Yeah. Uh, well, that's why you kill their treants, friends. Didn't have a way of doing it. Uh, gobbly, no, gobbly glide. Gobble glides. We eat these guys. We eat his Gobble guys. glides and eat a guy. Gobbles guys and eat his glides. Or something. Oh, we killed the one with the treetop helicopter. And now we've got the guy with the bad necklace. He looks like um, he was carved out of pumpkin. No. He does. So I make mine look. What's he holding? It's that twin spell, isn't it? A second gobbly glide. Gobbly glides. <laughs> Saying that word, slap it down, tickles me, and make snippy snapples. Wait, wait, how are we doing for this? Far out, far out. Make a snipple snapples. Make a snipple snapple, and then we can eat another guy. Right? We can eat all the treants. Do you want to eat all the treants? Well, she start attacking. She doesn't get any treant payoffs. Kill the treants. You know how this game plays out. He's got a whole hand though, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. He's got a whole hand, that's how I feel. It was odd. Outrageous. Actually, if he trades in here, does that fire this off? Yes. It does. That could be big. So that's now his turn, is to get tree ants. I mean, ah. Oh. Bollocks the defender. That is horrible. Trey horrible. Well, slap a replicating menace onto it. Come on, go through and make a wide bit. I'll only trigger this. Oh, not, not of all of them. Mm. Horrible. Horrible. There's no rush, Max. We could go wide, wide. Then not do a lot. We could play one. And then we'd make a full board when it died. But they don't get pumped. They will when it makes the last one. Hmm. Mm. They come... Individually, right? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I see. I was wondering if we just leave it. Should we find out? Yeah, let's find out. Let's, let's find let's out. Learning how this, experience. Let's find out how this one. works. Are we going to make a full board no. of two twos? I think we are. Yeah! 
Yes! I like it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together, friend. Look you at this. You got a board of tutus? We got tutus. Come at us. And I've just realized, instead of Christology, we could have done it just with a 1-1. One -one. We would have fired that off. That combo off had an extra guy. Extra gizzles on here. Mm -hmm. But never mind. We've got a hot air balloon instead. Whee! <laughs> ah, so now they're treants making treants. Oh dear. And he's gonna trade him board. Hey guys. That feels. Now he's got an extremely cheap mulch muncher. Alright. He does have the cheapest mulch muncher. Can we. Glow it? Can we slap. Mm. Yeah, we can slap this on here. Yeah. I think it's nicely pumped. Nicely pumped. And then it makes this harder to kill. Yeah. We can still hot air balloon Benefits or spin up as well. I think we just. Four walls? Just. We could just die here. We could just die. Eat the ones that have been flipped. Yeah. And drain Because we can't, like, he's going to throw these in, fine, whatever, but then he has to do that and then pop them. We don't want the ones where he can just go straight to the face. Maximum damage. Because we kill these, he just still has a big board. How much damage are we seeing on? 10, 15, based. It's on 31. Look how many cards he has in his hand. There is no draw in this deck. Christology is it. Yeah. You basically have to win with your opening hand in your first three draws. Yeah, it's not one of those decks don't like it as much. No, it does feel like it's an aggressive mulligan kind of deck. Oh dear. That's... What a hit. That is... What a hit. That we... Just concede. We Let's go on to the next one. Absolutely no chance. Nil point out of that. He oh, got that for... Boy. That's so irritating. Yeah. He just... I'll discover something. Oh, it's the perfect answer. It's literally the answer. I hate discovering. Okay, so it turns out Mech Paladin not so good in today's meta. Maybe maybe not the mech list we have built. There were other lists we were looking at, but they required a lot more dust. They weren't slower though. They're, That's true. It feels like this is even at its most explosive, not powerful enough for the current meta. Mm. Missing something. Ben war gear, keep the rest. Yeah, the rest seems pretty good. We do with a lovely, not, I mean, that's good. But a lovely T1 righteous. T1 Christology. And a hot air balloon. Or a galvanizer T2 would be pretty nice. Christology. Boom. I would probably do a hot air balloon, start it pumping up. Yeah, let's get the ball rolling. Because when this boy gets big. It's hard to deal with. Yeah, he gets pretty insane, especially when he's slapping things on it. Speed up with the old sniffles. Although we have to be aware of sap. Backstab. Must... I don't mind him using backstab. No, I'm using the one mana card. Not a problem, friend. All right. Double macaroon. Yeah. Especially when we've got double skyclaw coming, and he's used a backstab. That feels quite nice. Nice and comfy. Well, there'll probably be a skyclaw into a snip snaps. Sniffles. All right. Fine. I guess Mecha is much better when you've got like a righteous corpse. Mm -hmm. Three guys. Well, there we go. Yeesh. Yeah, just slap. Maximum damage. Big wide board. And actually, this coming down now is big. It's really Even if he kills really this, which he's, which he's going to, there's two, four, six, eight. And then a full board. Yeah, fine. Shit. That's Still actually. Fine. Really big. Yeah. Might eat one with his face. He feels like it. I think he should. Knowing this guy. Wrong not one. That one. Not that one. Not the one that we comes just, back. We just talked you through this. Oh. Yeah. Drop the righteous cause, Skyclaw. You know the drill. I don't need to tell you what to do. Do you know the drill? I'm just. Yeah. There's no good way to trigger it immediately. It's just the right way. Boom. 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 Everything he owns in the box in his face. And just everybody cross your fingers and say, I really hope this guy does not own Fan of Knives. <laughs> <laughs> like, just has never seen it. Doesn't know what it is. Someone says to him, he goes, Is that one of the free cards you get yeah, in the class? Not for this guy. That's true, he didn't. Not for Deadly Pants. He doesn't think it's deadly enough. Unfortunately, due to some. Uh... A deadly P, is what you guys can see. Deadly P! Coming at you. Shield. It's Cleopatra coming at you. We've got Gobbo. Can Gobbo we glide. can fire this off. A one drop if we can. We can, we can spin. Oh, yeah. And Gobbo glide. That's even better. 
Oh. And it's gonna make him huge. Gobbles, gobble, gobbles. You're saying something about fan of knives. It goes straight through. Bang. And there's ten more there. Oh, come at ya. Now you're feeling good? I <laughs> know, it's one of those days. Come on, friend. You had all these options. Why do you want that one? Um, yeah, it's one of those decks that makes you feel like that I'm unstoppable or just... Yeah, no. This is not gone well. And if you're going to play a deck that makes you feel unstoppable or like, nah, I'm not drawing it, and you want to ladder really fast, then Biggin's probably the one. Uh, yeah, I think Biggin is realistically better. Just aggressively mulligan from Biggin and uh, Breath of Dreams and then play whichever cards you draw. I mean, that is the linear aspect of that It's deck. like thinking the game. <laughs> it's very easy. I imagine you could do it whilst doing something else, like write a novel, yeah, play yeah. that game. You really It's like AFK do. Priest, just like, well, I'll just... Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a scourge. That shall never be mentioned again. You've lost, Brando. We have enough to go through this. Come on. We'll put the sixth one in. Yes, thank Way. you. Well played. Why do some people play out before they know they're dead? Because <sighs> they're irritating. We've got to go back into six. And we can uh, we'll play one more. We need to just win two in a row. Essentially, what we haven't done with this deck is win two. In a row. Yeah, that's been it. Up and down. Up and down the game. I'll like give you one more. Sorry, we're going to go through. I think this is probably very good against some classes and utter garbage against others. And unfortunately, I think this might be one of the garbage ones. Uh, we might get an absolute baller start. We're going to have to send... I think just send everything that isn't like one drops back. Right? Yeah. And Christology is guaranteed one This is one pulling drops. stuff. We just pull the top end of our deck. I mean, because... It's the classic. <laughs> the classic channel, channel one guys. We just want to win two in a row. Why do you do this to us? Is it because you guys like it? Is that what it is? Yeah, do they've been like slapping the like too much. The pain of us sitting through that level. Um, uh, is Christology better or worse than Mecha Root turn one? I think we Mecha Root because yeah, there's nothing else to do turn two. At least we can play it. Well, two one drops. Yes, but then we wouldn't have any. Like, we could play this now. But we could I suppose there two one. Is there anything in our deck that is one attack and not a one drop? I don't think so. So, it's guaranteed one drops next turn. I'm so utterly confused. Read the card Christology. Yeah, I get it. But are there any cards in our deck? No, 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 no. They're all one drops. It'll all, all the rest would be garbage. Oh, Skyclaw. Tell a lie. So can who's a liar? I'll do it. I'm a liar. Can we curve into Skyclaw? Never. And Galvanizer's one as well. Galvanizer is nuts, actually. We'll Glowtron onto our mecha. Look at that! That's why you play the old mechs. The old mecha room. And now our garbage hand is now slightly better. Yeah, we can actually curve into it a bit. Because this comes down turn three, but this should have come down. And then these, you know, turn four, we start to stable out the curve of this very aggressive, only playing about four cards above three attack. Come on. It's all about synergies and pump, but if you fair, remove the synergies and the pump, it gets a bit... He's Druid. That's all I have to say. No, so he doesn't have a lot of, like, removal. Swipe? Come on, swipe that. We'll find some big food. And big and Druid without a thing to kill. Gobbly gliding. Gobbles. Gibble gobbles. Gobble this guy right up. Select an enemy friend. I did. Wiving, wafting yourself hey, around hey, the hey. screen. What's an enemy friend? Uh, someone that isn't a friend enemy. A friend of me. This. He's not doing a lot, is he? I feel like he's whiffle waffling with his in big and Druid. <laughs> Come on! We're just gonna do that, right? Galvanizer first, because then it costs two. It doesn't. It's not a mech. Ooh, good spot. Oh, blowout! Absolute blowout. I mean, so will be the impending swipe. By the way, I'm just gonna point that out. It doesn't matter. Actually, we can just walk here onto it. Yeah, it's fine. I literally don't care. No, I don't. Embiggen! He's got the Embiggen T4. Has he got the ramp? He's got the ramp to follow? No. Has he used both his dragons up? Oh man, that would be great. Oh, your face, yes please. Hmm. How many... Oh, he's miles off. He's literally... Mm. If he kills it. Ooh. Yeah, do it. Then it's just... Yeah, do it. Big boy news, isn't it? Yeah, do it. And if nothing, I mean, it's still swipeable, but... I mean, we're he's, he's taking damage. Eight. He's taking damage. We've you got know? War gear, He's in big injuries. They just don't understand the deck. They don't get it. 
You've got to aggressively mulligan, and if you don't draw them, you instantly quit. Uh, Arian. Unity. He's there. Sure. All right, gonna gain some life. Come on. How far off can we? It gets three. Four. Which means we drop a guy. Galvanizer. Then Zilliax. No, 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 no. It pumps when we drop a thing. They do drop Zilliax because he gets big. What do you want? Gal Galvanizer onto Zilliax. Galvanizer onto Zilliax. Because Zilliax can mech onto a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's better, right? Yeah. Galvanizer? Yeah. Boom. Makes all these humongouses. And then this goes on here, goes through there, and then yeah, we kill him. Yeah, because it doesn't do any damage, because no. it's Divine Shield, he yeah. gains no life. And then we kill him. We have 13 damage of all. And then we just go and kill him. Die, die. You were right not to stop. <laughs> what, don't you stop? I'm trying. Wow. Hey, we can actually have a win streak yet. We've gone wrong, it's five. All right, yeah, we'll go one more, just for that casual win more. streak. Because then we can stop at zero stars. If we lose, sorry. What uh, are you talking about? Uh, just mildly delirious. Is that all right? It's yeah. been a long week. It's been a long week for me. This hand we're about to pull. Ooh. Zulok? That's the most common one right now. Put Explodinator and Gobbo and Annoy Module back. We know the drill. If you pull the one mana stuff, everything worked beautifully. Yeah, that's true. Well, you say that, but we we ended up with a full hand of big boys. Yeah, but that meant we only drew. This is. Do you want a double Christology off the bat? It's zoo. It's zoo. It's zoo. Faux show. No, I don't, because you want to coin this out. True that. We don't control own a mech. Own a mech. Control a mech. About to. Blowtron. It can't be killed. Um. If you put down hot airblown, it just kills it. Do you put nah? Nah, leave it, leave it, let's leave wait, it. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Because yeah, actually, you, yeah, this onto this is just where it's just a smarter play, and then this is too far. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Horrible, but we don't have a way around it. We do just have to follow the plan. We have to follow the plan. Yeah. I mean, this gets bigger every turn. So he has to kill it immediately, which means he has to put lucky pings in. Do you want a Christology now with the coin? So, are you likely to want to divine shield slap a thing, or are you going to want to gobbo? Because you could Christology, but you can't play anything off the back of it. You'd be gobbling. I think that limits our options. Yeah, okay. And I think this will be dead, but so Gobbo will be turned off. So you want to have the coin for the annoying module. Anyway. Look at that. Thought processes. Oh, and verbalize. So you, you heard it. And also, here's another reason. If you draw Righteous Cause, you can play it coin still Gobbo tech if you want. True that. That's extra value. Oh, setting up for the big boy turn. Please just ignore my guys. Thanks very much. Muy bien. You're about to get a Noyo module. Next turn, that's going to be humongous. Do you want to just make a mahoose of a Noyo module, right? On this guy. Yeah. Uh, we might get unlucky with some pings after you. We're going to eat his. With this, we're going to eat. Oh, yeah, well then, fuck it. Yeah. Make an <laughs> enormous guy. It's a 410 taunt. We kill this guy. Everything has to go. That feels strong. Because um, Zoo doesn't have like a Plague of Flame I style mean, removal. My has... my list does. I won one, but just blow out. Stock if they If they've been watching Channel One, then fine. But the stock lists don't run it. No, I think it's better with him big and druid in the mm. format. This allows you to sometimes to just get through, and it's another way of destroying eggs. I think it's um, really good with the Galakrond list, just yeah, because it keeps just, giving you one one. So many ways of just like, well. I think we can ignore those eggs. Yeah. I, like I think was... someone's going to be taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Should we pile on the damage? Or... No, let's play sensibly. Christology? Yeah. See what our options are. Probably Gobbo. Skyclaw. Skyclaw or Goblo. Wait, is there any benefit to us going wide for him? No. no. I would I prefer actually Gobbo eat his tutu. He's got nothing on board. He can't do anything. Don't want to go giga wide. Go giga wide next turn. Hidden behind an enormous tool. Yeah. Okay. Okali, Dokali, friend. He can't do anything with eggs. He has to kill one he of them to, to kill do them. something. Yeah, and then he gets one ones. I don't know. Really. Oh, like, well, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> not interested. All right, fine. That's I'll kill that. Killable. It's killable. 
with anything he wants. Straight through, kill him all. But that means he's running Plague of Flames. Why no, wouldn't it doesn't. He? The Galakron Zulus doesn't they run. Don't run Plague of Flames. What? What? Um. Hmm, this is interesting. So this allows that to go through and so does Glotron. You just want to slam that on this and just make one enormous guy. Well, and then you can still Skyclaw, you can Zilliax, you can do quite a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. We play this. Yeah? Go wide. All right, go giga wide. This has to survive. A whole game plan is put into this. Play... I'm tempted to Glotron... Yeah, play that out on Glotron Skyclaw. You want to make this... An alternative threat in case our main <laughs> plan gets enormous gun. BTFO. Yeah. Alright, go through here. To be fair, it's got to do a lot. Get through an 8. It's getting bigger every turn. The fiendish right. Tell you what, next turn it's getting enormous. We'll be gaining a lot. And actually, life. to be fair, this that one. on anything is good. This is other mechs, right? So There's, we don't want to put so that many on things on board, I don't think it can wipe. What can? Well, if he makes some more dudes and Plague of Flames. I mean, he could Plague of Flames this whole board. Fair I'd enough. be so... I'd be just like... Well, just GG well played. I mean, it happens. We've committed hard, haven't we? <laughs> He's got it! He's got it! Oh, well, we're going to make some guys, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Put a Zilliax onto it. Or two snips. I think double snip I prefer. Big and big. I cannot believe that happened. He actually had it. <laughs> yeah. This is still very unkillable. Yeah. He could have like, you know, fiendish, fiendish, kill uh, me, but fine. If not, we just make another big tall guy. He had it. <laughs> he had it. I warned you. I warned you. I have played giant. You going anywhere? Speeding up. You're gonna put all seven of your. He hasn't got seven, he's got six. <laughs> Do you play two giants? Alright. He's gonna look for the, the rush. Don't have it. That'd be huge. Don't have the rush. We deserve that much. Torn. Oh man. We can still Zilliax through it. No, it's ten! It's so ah. big. It's so big. Can he just kill? He can kill it as well. That's Human Goose. That's Human Goose. That's uh from the game. We've got four We've got guys. <laughs> guys, making guys everywhere. Galvanizer makes everything cheap. Uh, we can't play this and anything else, so yeah, we may as well galvanize. <laughs> this is this is stupid. Zilli acts onto one of them. But not that one. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Well, it's got rush. Should we do it on the bigger one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> makes sense, actually. It doesn't make sense. The four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't kill everything. So we don't attack. He has to find another way through. Yeah. Slap in, slap in. Fine. Fine. Give us back full life. <laughs> this is stupid. I don't know if we've got Plague of Flames. Yes, yes, I will. Oh, draw another one. That's a lot. I don't think you Plague of Flames this. He's going to be running the one. He's been watching Channel One. Mm. I don't think I've actually played it on stream. It's all right. It pays off. It pays off right on now. Oh man, we really committed to that board as We well. did. He's not gonna have it. Oh, he's got it. We got, we got full life. If we get a sky claw, we can kill this. Probably kill most of the board if we pull a Corruptor sky claw. Corruptor would go through it. I mean, a blessing of kings. Oh, that's a whiff on his. Uh... Yeah, that's true. One one. Basis Corruptor will be good. Blessings of, blessing of kings. Yeah. What are we worried about? Uh, this board. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We don't have Plague of Flames <laughs> or a way of making one. Full life. There it is. All right, so we can definitely go through. Hey, oh no, stop it. Oh, I had charge of it. He's killing an 8 8 and he's clearing a whole board. Gobbly Glide. Gobbly Glide. Blessing up. 8 damage. It's not 7 damage. It's plus 1 plus 1. <gasps> Jesus We've Christ, got all friend. These mechs. And we're through! A bad you. That's not one his three mana card. Uh, three damage to him? Three damage to him. <laughs> Just everything. Everything you own in a box at your face. Uh, this is four damage. Mm -hmm. He knows he can't tap. There's not a lot. The Leroy. And this will do it. 
We need a way of making these actually attack, but there's ways. We're working ways on Ways and means. He slowed himself down. He needs to be slapping us. Harder than... Oh, dear. That's a full ball. Oh, he's just waiting for a pump, isn't he? I mean, this is madness. He'll Galakrond in a minute. How has there not been... Oh, yeah, Galakrond would be here. Oh, come on. I don't think we can go through. He's become the control player. Uh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There it is. That's a lot. The big boy board. I don't think there's a way through for us, friend. It's not my module. Play, yeah. <laughs> Onto one of the bombs? Onto one of the bombs, yeah, of course. Let's spin up. And be like, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get there. What do we need? We need this to die in a Leroy. Just, just ch enough chip damage. Yeah. Can he just kill this with his little guys? Boom. That's two. Two damage. Tap. Go to six. So the, the problem is these don't get through here. They do when we draw the Skyclaw off the top. Yeah, not anymore. The Skyclaw is actually garbage now, right? Yeah. Oh, he threw this in, I suppose. Yeah. Ooh. Your it's life gain? Double taunt. It's effective life gain. It's not. Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. We can't get through, so it's essentially like... Yeah, we can't get through at all. Very nice GG, innit? it? Oh, we drew it! Off the top. Mad good. And concede. <laughs> well, we that tried. was fun. That was fun. All right. Thank you for joining us. We hope you like a little extended uh, video there. We didn't need to, but it was all right. Bit we lost light. our stars. No, yeah, no, That's mind. all right. We'll get them back. Please don't forget 400 subs by the end of February. That's our goal. If you could help, we'd really appreciate it. Help yep. grow the channel. Yeah, like, subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow.